All right, people, Catfish Dave here, doing something a little different. Normally I fish Fort Lousy Reservoir. Today we are all the way down on the lowest end of Watts Bar Reservoir. Uh, this lake here has more fish in it than Fort Loudon. It is some different scenery. Uh, I like changing things up. I'm here late morning, uh, gonna do a day trip. We got a full moon phase going on. I just hate messing with that full moon, so uh, yeah, we're gonna do some daytime fishing here for a while. We may end up doing some dragging uh, as the day wears on, but until then, I may suspend fish a little bit. I've gotta retie up some stuff here so I can suspend bait. We're gonna suspend bait some deep water first while I'm getting everything rigged up, tied up. I'm doing this salty bait experiment. Uh, I'm keeping my skipjacks down in this icy, salty water. Lots of salt. And I'm just going to tell you, this bait is four days old in this cooler, and it is still very firm. Typically, four days on nothing but ice, and that skipjack would be like mush. This stuff is still firm. These fish are going into a stage where these waters are cooling. They're laying down in the mud, and you have a hard time picking them up on your graph. Then they eventually come out and start stirring around out in the heat of the day. I'm not seeing nothing on this finder right now, catfish-wise, but that could change at any time. Staying down. That acts like a flathead. Acts like a flathead. Camera's on, I'm getting paid. As these waters cool, these flatheads will move down into these deeper holes. Blue cats do one thing, these flatheads will do another. My gosh, that is a blue cat, y'all. That thing fought just like a flathead. It's a blue cat, pretty nice one. Man, I thought for sure that was a flathead. Yeah, he's, he's all rolled up in my line there. Yeah, that's a big old blue cat, man. I thought for sure that was a flathead the way it fought. 
y'all we got the uh, camera turned out of the sun a little bit look at that head on that thing right there come on now don't get all funky yeah gonna turn just the wrong way there we go nice fish to start up the morning man thing bit and felt just like a flathead the way it fought but we'll take that right there Caught that on four day old salty bait. I can feel the roll. I know this is a blue cat. Another fat one, y'all. I'm glad to see that they will hit a head bait. Oh, fat sow right there. Woo! Talk to him. salty bait y'all but it's actually pretty fresh hard as a rock just like it's froze salty bait I am starting to see more fish activity as the heat of the day warms up these fish are starting to come up get active when I first pulled up here, I simply stayed because it was a good spot strategically, but I wasn't seeing nothing on the graph as far as fish. Oh, we got a small one here in 75. These chunks are the preferred bait. Been catching 99% of my fish on the chunks this October. They are starting to come alive as the heat of the day gets on. Little small ones. That is a typical Watts bar size fish right there. Yeah. Yes, 
Yes, sir. Yeah, them smaller ones are waking up on the chunks. We've gotten some good enough fish out of here. I'm sitting around for a minute. See what happens. Uh -huh. Fish number four out here in seventy foot. He has twisted up my other line and that other rod. So we got a mess. Another watch bar size blue catfish. y'all morning bite is over we're now going to commence to covering some water here still got looks like five skipjacks left we are now getting up uh, past the noon hour here this time of year these creeks will stack up with fish that doesn't mean this one is this is such a large creek system, the fish could be hard to find. But we're gonna find some. Extremely deep channel out there. If I drug it, we'd be dragging 80 foot of water. These flats around here are fairly deep. A lot of them 40 to 50 foot. Don't have much to eat out here today. Some planters nuts and some cheese. This is old cheap cheese from the Weigel's convenience store. It says Wisconsin's finest. We'll see about that. was trying to get hung up, turned out to be a bite. There's a dang boat sitting right in the center of this cove I'm trying to come through. All right, y'all. If they won't hit suspended no more, we'll drag them up.
Well, all right, y'all. Definitely preferring the chunks. That head's left planer board. Hasn't gotten a lot of action. Yep. Fish got him a mouthful of that old salty bait. Salty bait. Afternoon fish are running small, but we're getting them. I got a jet ski wanting to run the same cove as me back and forth. That's always nice. No, I'm not fishing. These rods and boat are just for looks. Got him a mouthful too. Can't even close his mouth up. I'm gonna get my bait back. Yeah, a lot of these in Watts Bar. Oh, my, my board just come off. That's a bigger fish right there. First decent one dragon. Camera on. Yep, I'm getting paid. Good one right there, y'all. Oh, there's the third big fish of the day. He's, don't like being around me. y'all. I knew we'd eventually get a good one dragon. It's fall of the year. Yeah. Yeah, it's a nice heavy fall sized fish right there, man. Yes, sir. 
Let go, let go. Yeah. I got a dag blasted blower guy over here in my video. All right, y'all. I'm gonna call it with that because there's a good afternoon skipjack bite over in Fort Loudon Reservoir. And I wanna have time to drive back and get to that. Just come down here on a whim, change the scenery. And we caught several nice fish today and uh, some other smaller ones. So the salty catfish bait works. Four days in a salty brine, just liquid ice and salt. The fish are hitting it, it's a lot fresher. So this is a video, there was fish in the video, that makes it a fishing video. This is Catfish Dave with another one, signing out.